Why the Last Man Series 1 Episode 1 title the day before and this is an episode of a show, the beginning of a show that has been in development for years. Like if you don't know the background of the show, Why the Last Man is based on a Vertigo, which is technically DC, but a Vertigo comic which was uh, went for 60 issues uh, you know so it's the ones that had the Milgan and doesn't have the soap opera aspect to it but it went for 2002-2008 with by Brian Cranvall and the critically acclaim and Hollywood for years for years have been wanting to make some adaptation of it you know for years you hear the words movie we're doing a why the last man, a last man tv show a movie a movie movie show 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 like just keep hearing different versions of a why, a why the last man blur and to the point where like this is like sandman you know which is funny enough netflix is making an adaptation of sandman and it's you know got a cast and they're filming it and all, all that type of thing but we're like this is like sandman we're like we'll wait when we see it you know, even when a trailer drops, we're like, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think someone that's, it might be inspired by the why, why the Last Man, but it's probably not based on, it's not actually an adaptation of, of Why the Last Man, right? Oh, and we're here, oh, it, there's actually a Why the Last Man show, and the first three episodes have dropped. Okay, let's check this out. Now, to my experience with the comic, I went up, what, 2014 when, you know, I first heard about it. And I read the first book, but I never read beyond that. And I really liked the, the, the first book and what it had in it. Um, but I, I think it was a situation where I was reading it for the library and that situation where, like, the, you know, they had book one, they had book three, four, five, six, all the way to the, to the end, but they didn't have two. And I was like, you know what? Um, I'm not gonna read it because I can't complete the story. So f you, library. So, but I do briefly remember what happened in very early moments of it. And what I would say to those people who are very attached to like things need to be exactly how it went. It is this first episode we really shows they are staying true to the story itself but are happy to change things and mainly this is the episode about what the day before the hook you know the day before the male species all drop dead and developing the characters who we are going to follow out through at least this season and beyond with other the other characters and their relationships with the male, their, um, male friends, their male colleagues, their male partners, their male whoever, while also having this journey of something's going off here. Something's really off going on. Now, if you don't know the purpose of White Last Man, it's essentially what if the male species just dropped dead? They are knowing the whole world is male pendant, with the, you know, male pendant and so male centric. What if one day just us guys we just cough and splattered even the animals and the sperm banks and the eggs and all kinds of stuff. every male related thing just like <coughs> died and having this episode to develop what the world was or what these characters relationships were and who they were before uh, everything went to shit i um it, it felt fine you know, it felt fine. Some characters were more developed than the others, mainly Hiro and Jennifer. Um, Yorick, who's our main character, who's the last man, it's uh, everybody, every male, every man dies except him and his monkey, uh, uh, Afghanistan. But he, he's like the most uninteresting character. Because all he is, he's basically the, like, I have no money, I'm broke, um, he's kind of, he's a bit of a smart ass, but it's kind of like the most interesting characters are Jennifer, who's a, who is his mom, who's a, a, a converse woman. Uh, you have Hiro, who is Yorick's sister, and she's doing her battle issues and all that. You know, Though those two characters at this point, because I know there's like 355 and, and, and all these other characters, but 
at this point there's not they haven't really um they're more like at this point just introducing them than actually like this is who this character is at this point and for me they they were the most interested those were the ones i was mostly engaged with and as much of as much as we are meant to give a damn about Yuick at this point, at this point I don't really. Um, and he kind of does come across a bit of an unlikable character, which I assume that's what's going to be the arc after the show, which is, you know, here's this guy who starts this place and he becomes this other character, character at the end of the show, if the show wraps up neatly on a bow or just when they get cancelled. Um, it's a, but here's the thing, like, I'm dodging around it just because I don't want to hit spots outside the premise itself, but it's a, knowing the stuff that's in it, it's just fine, it's good, it does feel a little bit tacked on a little bit, it is 53 minutes, I feel like it should be a little bit shorter. They're alluding to, like, the, you know, the whole thing. The first the animals die before the males die. Hinting those aspects of things, it kind of felt a little bit too... Like, th there was a point where we... I went, like, there was a point where I was like, can, can the males just... Can we just die? Can we just move on with the plot, please? Uh, <laughs> so it does feel a little bit tacked on. The transitions to character to character to story to story... To story um, fell a little bit too quick, a little bit too whiplash for me. And the weirdest thing in the world is when the event happens, when all of the male, the, the male species just dies, they're, they try to hit this horror aspect of things, but they don't hit, ha, hit the horror aspect hard enough, if you know what makes sense, if you, that makes sense. All we have is this guy's going, <laughs> spilling blood. Or hear sound effects over the wave. They don't really show the horror nature of it. Of like half of of the species has just dropped dead. And yes, sweeping out the corner. Yes, I think mainly because like... It's in the trailer. Or one, one TV spot. That we follow Hero. Looking around. And the camera angle itself was a little bit odd. And I felt like if they had a, a wider lens of her, her observing the whole area and seeing on the suites, you know, cars crashing, uh, mothers holding their sons crying out of fear, um, men just dropping dead. It's, um, it, for me, that would be a, a more impactful moment. Um, but it could be the mindset of like, hey, you know, you've seen the trailers, you know what, probably what the show's about. But I got, I know the first three episodes have dropped. I'm planning to cover, cover it, I cover the show one by one. Um, of course, this is going to be a little more lengthy, uh, me covering the first episode, knowing there's a lot of groundwork to talk about here. But yeah, this is a really, this is a good episode. Good. And let's hope that now the, the, the hook has been done, let's see how it takes place.